Hello my friends, hello YouTube, how are you guys doing? Rainbow here, I hope you're having a good day. Over here, southern Germany, it's really hot today. We just hit about almost 38 degrees Celsius today, which is insane, but yeah, lots of fun. I just went out um, um, for some ice cream, as you do, and as I came back, uh, there was a big, big box waiting for me. And I mean, look at the size of that thing. Like that's my desk, my normal working desk. It's insane. And I am so excited that it's got here today because I think I know what it is. This package got sent to me by my good friend Crane from Blaster Time in the Netherlands. Shout out to Crane, thanks for that. And if you haven't checked out his shop, the link's gonna be in the description, so go check out his shop. It's amazing. He does really, really a lot, a lot of cool things. And he ships, for if you're in Europe, he ships from the Netherlands, so it's nice and easy. And you don't have to order through America or China, and you don't have to go through customs and all the trouble. Just check out his shop. Um, but yeah, as I said, size of the box, size of the box. And truth be told, this is my second ever out of the box Nerf Blaster that I purchased. And by the size of this box, some of you might already know what it is, but for those of you who don't, get ready. Dum 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 <laughs> Yes, I unboxed it already because it was easier that way. It is the ultimate customizer pack of the Nerf Modulus Demolisher. And fuck, I've been wanting to get one of them for so long. Ever since I saw them, like, I love the Demolisher as a blaster. It's so cool. It's been one of my favorite blasters of all time. And... Yeah, like this color scheme just works. And all the amazing attachments and everything to stock. And yes, of course, I've seen a gazillion reviews on that. But um, it's different to see it and actually have it. I, get, I bet you guys will agree. But let's see what we got here. So all I did is I got it out of the box. So it's nice and easy. So we got the demolisher here. We're gonna unpack that. Um, we got the attachments. We got some, I think it's four, yeah. Okay, it's right here. It's four missiles and 40 elite darts. Um, magazines, there should be a second magazine. We've got a magazine holder. On the flip side, the stock. Ooh. Ooh, another goodie! Way! That is a um, aluminum black uh, Kronos T pool. So, similar to this one. Um, it's exactly the same, just different color. Thanks, man! Thanks for putting that in there. That's really cool. So, wicked. Awesome. So, another Kronos build is going to come in using this, which is fantastic. So, um, let's get to it. I'm going to do a, a quick unboxing, but um, I'm going to do it like that. Bam! There we go. Magic of video editing. Unboxed everything in the flash. But, honestly, I took my sweet time to unbox this because I really love that I have this. I'm so, so happy that I finally got my hands on this. And definitely, definitely this will be one of my main blasters wherever we need to use rockets or something. Um, I'm definitely going to use this one from now on. That's so cool. But um, I'm sure by now you've already seen an unboxing and a review on this product. So I don't have to go over everything in detail. But if you haven't, and just because I can and I want to, I'm going to just give you a quick brief overview about what's in the box. So we're going to start from over here. We've got 40 elite darts, we've got four rockets, and then we get that front barrel attachment, which looks really cool. And for whatever reason, only has a rail here and not here. Why didn't you just put another rail here? But yeah, that's really cool. We've got a flashlight, take three AA, no, three AAA batteries. Um, it's really cool. Probably the most unique thing in here is this. It is a rail attachment, and has three rails and those fold down on the side so if you wanted to you could fold those down like so and have them on the side of the blaster just put it up top here have two more side rails if you want or just sort of half there they lock in really nice it's really solid so yeah yeah that's good um obviously we have the main blaster which looks just super cool i'm not going to do a paint job to this this is so cool um up here we got a little visor thingy that you can use like this or a flip off site like that there you go 
and you can just suck that on there. Nifty, really cool. Am I going to use it? Probably, because it's part of the package. Is it useful? Nah, probably not. Um, then we have this one, which is definitely useful. This is essentially just a mag rail on a rail attachment, so you can just attach it to a side rail like that, and then it'll just hold another magazine like so. Push up the button, releases that magazine. That is great. We need more of those. Please nerf sell these separately. They are fantastic. Have kind of a ready mag or two on your blaster, which reduces the amount of gear you carry on your body, which is great. Then we have this thing, which is a missile holder. Nice and simple. You just take a missile and you just put it on there. And then this is a rail attachment that can slide onto any tech rail. And the cool thing is you can just turn this um, so you can have the missiles in whichever orientation works best for you. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put it, but because I always load my missile launcher with the left hand, I'm probably going to have it on top here or on the side here. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. So, the last thing is a stock. It's an adjustable stock, and it adjusts in three ways. So if you push this button here, this comes down here, so it's really short. You just pull it out, and it locks in place. Feels really sturdy so far. This one here, by pressing this button, you can elevate the cheek rest, which is great. And by pushing this button, you can push it even further out. So this is full length, I believe. Yeah, this is full length of this stock, which is great. And it looks cool, it gives that kind of sniper-ish feeling, whatever. But I really, I was, I was so excited when I saw this uh, in the first review of this product. I'm like, yeah, this is so cool. It will stay on this blaster. Because I don't have a modular series that it could fit, but it looks really good on the modular strife as well. So yeah, those are the things of the package. I'm sure you've seen them all before. I'm not going to do firing; it's just stock performance. I haven't fired that yet. I'm going to just quickly set it up in everything configuration, everything set up, so that you guys can see, and then um, that's going to be it for the video. All right, everybody. Here we are with the final setup of the modulus demolisher. The way I will probably run it. And first off, yes, with all the attachment, it is noticeably heavier, which makes sense. But um, they have super cool attachments and they are very useful. That's why we're probably all going to keep them, most definitely. <laughs> um, so going from the front to the back, uh, the back to the front, back to the front. Um, with the stock, fully extended stock, which is great. It's a perfect length, like it's really cool for someone my size. This is very comfortable. And this looks really intimidating. It's a beast of a blaster. Yeah, so fully expanded stock. Um, the tech rail on here, I'll leave empty. I don't know what to put there. Um, probably a drink holder. It's like a straw here, maybe a drink holder. Sounds like a good idea. I don't know what else to put there because you can't really put a flashlight or tech light here because the blaster will be in your way. You can't really put the magazine there because it doesn't make any sense because I reload with my other hand. And the sight obviously makes no sense and the rockets for the same reason, reloading with the left hand. But, maybe a drink holder, sounds like a good idea. So, speaking of magazines, on the side we have this magazine, which doesn't, at this in this position, doesn't really qualify as a ready mag in my opinion, because if I drop this, I have to really awkwardly reach over here to push that button to take this out and reload. But, um, it'll just be second magazine storage on a blaster, which we use so much, that's why we built Stravens. <laughs> Yeah, um, moving on, up the top we have those triple rail things just here with the flip side on top, which is really cool and definitely working, so we're definitely going to use this to aim, and it looks really cool. And on the other side I have the missile attachment, which makes sense to me because I reload from my left hand, so you shoot a missile just like that, and you pull down one, and put that in here, and you can go again. Uh, just one thing I noticed, when you try to pull one of these, you kind of have to really pull to the other side because if you pull straight, you're just going to end up twisting that. But if you pull to the other side, it kind of works. I might have to fix that in one position. Um, or get a 3D printed part. <laughs> well, who knows? And then up the front, we obviously have the barrel with the flashlight on the side, which is where the flashlight, in my opinion, should be. And so this is how I will run this blaster. I have some really sweet ideas of what I'm going to do with this to make it battle worthy and one thing I'm going to fix first is this, that one there, and yeah, this is going to be good, so stay tuned for an update on this one. 
So that's it for the video, it's been rather long, but I love this blaster, therefore it deserves a long video. The final thing to do, another shout out to my friend Crane from Blaster Time in the Netherlands. Thank you so much for agreeing to sell me one of only three, I think it's only three of these sets that he has in Europe and he doesn't know if he can get more. I'm so happy that I got one. The other two will be on auction at some point, so make sure to check out his shop slash his social media. He is on Instagram and all the channels. Um, the, all the links that I find are in the description to this video. And so if you want to get your hands on one of them, contact him and he'll let you know when and where uh, the, he will sell them slash auction them. And I'm really happy that I got this. Thank you again, my friend. That made me so happy. Thanks again also for the Kronos t -pool. I wasn't expecting that, but it's super cool since I have a Kronos over there waiting for one. So to all of you who don't know Blaster Time from the Netherlands, go to the link in the description below and check out his shop. He's got really, really cool arsenal. If you're based in Europe, it's really cool because it's a good alternative because you can get stuff from Outer Darts and an F-Strike and Worker through him, which means you don't have to pay for customs and shipping and all of these kind of things. So go check him out. And other than that, there's nothing more to say. I will see you on the Nerf Battlefield, probably with this thing next time. Love and sunshine to all of you. See ya.